Greetings. This is your brother Elder Blacklight. This video continues with the message. Muhammad speaks an urgent message to the black man. Now, we've been showing you the weapons of the devil also the weapons of Allah Allah is using weather he's also going into the brains of the politicians confusing them New York in the medical field is corrupted. He's also showing you California since Hollywood put out all that negative uh, evil and controls the media with propaganda. Those are the weapons. So what is our defense? Self-preservation is the first law of nature. We must defend ourselves. So we call on Allah and the person of Master Farah Muhammad, which the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that he will be around for another 400 years. I don't know how much time we into that 400 years, but Elijah is still here too, not in physical form, but on book form, uh, video, audio, the program was displayed and made manifest to us before he, he passed away. Show you it could work using love of self, each other, unity and righteousness and truth. Now, it is your duty if you are a follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad or if you just sympathetic, but scared to make a move, it's your duty to first of all, change your ways. Try to be as righteous as you can and alert and unify the people that you love to study and follow teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. We want you to watch this video. I was warning about the 2008 financial crisis before it happened, which was the case. In fact, I was warning about it very vocally leading up to that crisis. Well, I can assure everybody today that the crisis that's coming is going to be far worse than it anything that was experienced in 2008 but it's going to be of a different nature and there's going to be a different outcome of course the cause is the same it's the federal reserve and monetary policy and to a lesser but also important extent uh, government fiscal policy which is helping to drive the reckless monetary policy but i think the way it's going to play out in the financial markets is going to be a lot different. I think the important consideration this time around is going to be inflation. And I think inflation is the primary factor that everybody should take into consideration when trying to formulate an investment strategy, especially one that is going to 
uh, you know, do well in the coming decade. Inflation is going to go on and say is a tax. See, all this is game. All this is uh, trignology. Trignology. I said it's going to be a cashless and gunless society. So, you got a whole lot of mentally disturbed people with guns that can't adjust themselves to the ever-changing times. You got drugs, legalizing drugs. See, people are investing in stock. They got stock in Pfizer. They got stock in death and destruction. They invest in weapons of mass destruction. They com everything is a commodity. Money, gold. They got gold, a gold dollar selling for a thousand dollars now. It used to be you can get one for thirty dollars. So paper, if they gonna sell you a uh, a gold coin for a thousand dollars, that means that paper money is worth more is more valuable than gold. But they say the dollar is using value. That don't make sense because it's all psych. To keep your money out your pockets. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad say, pull your resources together. But we can't trust each other. Because we still hate each other. Anytime you got Tahaka Bay. And uh, Tariq Nasheed. Sanetta. All throwing shade on each other. Roasting each other. Then you got this guy right here. Uh, distracting you from the real issue. He got money. But instead of him investing in the inner city, setting up schools and hospitals for his brothers and sisters, he's trying to make more money. That's all he's doing. It's a publicity stunt to distract you from the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And we always show you this video here of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. As a matter of fact, we're going to go out with this video here, hoping you get the message. Brothers and sisters, in our business enterprises during the past year, we moved toward $50 million in income. Which of course is only a beginning. We have only scratched the surface.